It's the 4-3-3 that won on the road at Seattle six nights ago. 39-year-old Giorgio Chiellini, part of a back four. It's even more predictable. Coach Ben Olsen rolls out this starting lineup for a seventh straight game. A 4-5-1 in front of 37-year-old keeper Steve Clark since the 20th of August. 10-1-6 and six in that span. One of the draws, yes, was a loss in a penalty shootout against Real Salt Lake. We are underway. Houston advancing to this point on the heels of Sunday's victory over Sporting KC. Taken away here by LAFC. Timothy Tillman works this ahead. First opportunity is off the bar. If you want the ball to fall to anybody, it has to be Vela in this situation. You see he's asking for it. his first touch. You just wonder, is he able to get it out of his feet enough? Because you just see he takes the first touch of his left foot, and then he stumbles, he ends up scooping it, and the crossbar comes to the rescue. And the intercept sent by Herrera. One back by Ilya, another opportunity for LAFC. This is Vela! Trickled over the line, and it's in, but no, the flag is up. No goal. He keeps his flag down. We can see clearly, though, that Vela is in an offside position. But once again, it's the turnover of possession. The possession breakdown of these two teams tonight, what it will be, it was a mystery for the coaches. How do you expect this to play out? I think from, from the early stages, I think Houston are going to be the team that would dominate possession. Herrera on the ball here, able to curl this to the far post, and there's Grippo with the first big stop of the night. Disappointed that he wasn't able to find the back, and then it just seemed just goes off the back of Keely, and it's a wonderful save from Grippo. Just how quickly he gets over to that near post, and it's something that's not really been mentioned that much. He won't get an assist for it, but he completely changes the emphasis of the play with that movement. Buwanga able to flick this ball ahead, flag stays down, that's Clark who got a hand up and makes the save. And it's just the position in the change between Buanga and Vela. Very much looks like Escobar was keeping Vela on side. It's a great strike, but an equally extinctive save from Clark. And yet LAFC has had the more dangerous chances. Kataskia from distance gives it a go. Clear line of sight for Prepo. Vela to swing this ball out. That's Murillo got a hit to it, and Clark has it on a bounce. He was in the ascendancy. Kataskia fakes a shot, pulls it back. Bossy curls this, caught cleanly by Paul. And head to MLSsoccer.com for wall-to-wall -wall coverage all week long. Another chance for LAFC. The sharp angle try goes off the mark. Terrific opportunity for the home side here. Vera this time drifted all the way over from the right to the left. And you just see his speed gets the better of Sviachenko because he's on the run. Just goes for the strike towards goal. So that sets up nicely for him, but he goes for power more than placement. Far too easily at the previous corners. Just have got to be alive to it. Actually, Escobar that's marking him. Signal by Vela. This ball swung in, save, and the rebound is buried home. Hollingshead and LAFC with a 1 0 lead. Shin of Hollingshead. First of all, it's a great ball in. Chiellini then goes for the initial header, and it's the follow up from Hollingshead. You can see when Chiellini heads the ball. Looks as though it might be Sviachenko who's playing Hollings head on just as he makes this run here. Puts the ball into the back of the net. It's brilliant anticipation from Hollings head. Wonderful set piece. Good save initially from Clark, but he can't do anything about the rebound. And then goes to Hollings head. And now this side that lost to the LA Galaxy on the 4th of July before 82,000 at the Road Bowl. Tries the ball prior to the throw. Now from outside the 18, out wide, Dorsey. Able to work this ball across, softly headed into the arms of Crepo. Falls here for Tillman. Timothy Tillman to the edge of the 18. Buwanga.
has a step on Herrera fires that ball across it deflects out and the corner is earned by Bowanga and LAFC. And then we just see what Buanga is capable of. Goes past the rare but then it's good position if he doesn't find the back of the net. Carlos Vela with their fifth corner of the night. That's a strong header. Mario second time. A shot is blocked away. Tracked down by Quinones. It's now that Mario has got free in the box. What he's doing really, really well, he's using Tillman. He'll be in Columbus next week. That's where we know the final will be. The crew. With a come from behind win. This is Vela once again firing. Stop by Clark. Follow up try, and Clark's got that as well on the rebound shot by Bowanga. Right, Dorsey, Houston player. It's a good strike, good save from Clark. But then. Bogus again. Switch to the left. Waiting on this. Danny Bowanga. Facing goal, backs up the Houston defense. This ball played across, takes a deflection in. It's an own goal. And it's the play that just may have solidified LAFC's place in a second consecutive MLS Cup. With the winner, and this he may just have scored the own goal that takes LAFC to MLS Cup. But it's the first time, really, that we've seen Palacios get forward. He's put it into such a dangerous area, and it's a difficult situation for Escobar because he knows he has to come and win the ball, but he just gets it all wrong, and he puts it into the back of his net. You see the Houston players straight up to him to get his head up and get on with the game. And in the City of Angels, look who has wings again. Time to Ohio and a return trip to MLS Cup. 